The old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? He turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. Really though, that human! Do I know that person? Do you not know who you know? <laughs> of course I know who I know! I wanted to know if you know! I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know, you know? Oh ho! Speak of the devil! One of the things we missed during our first trip around the world was that there was a brief moment where we could speak to Sans. But for whatever reason, when I exited the map and came back, he disappeared, so I never got to see what he said here. Well, now we're finally gonna get to see that glorious bit of dialogue that I missed out on so long ago. What's up? Totally worth it. Oh, he pops over here now. Are you lost? Hmm. And this never got answered for us, did it? It's a door. Maybe we'll find out what this is at the end of the pacifist run. Say, are you following me? You sure do like to exercise. Speaking of getting exercise, what you're going to want to do is actually just walk around in this room with the four mushrooms lit up for a couple of minutes and then eventually... Eventually... There you go! Glide swooped in. This is a secret mini boss of swords. You don't ever need to see this guy, but you find him if you just walk around this room for a couple minutes. He was a fan-made character made uh, due to the Kickstarter that this game was a part of. Um, made by a guy named Mike Reed, not uh, Reed Young from Fan Gamer, but uh, some other Reed guy. But I guess there are a million Reeds in the universe now. R uh, continuing on the legacy of Reed ever since Reed sacrificed himself to the world of virtual reality. Uh, long story, I guess you had to be there. But, uh, yeah, this is a secret boss that I just wanted to show on our way back around the world. Or rather, I wish I was able to show it, but I didn't know it existed until I had already recorded the pacifist run, so I had to, uh, snatch up some footage from somewhere else. So that's why the, uh, bars aren't here right now. So, apologies for that. I, uh, tried my best to get everything done without, uh, spoiling myself, but, uh, there's some little bits and pieces that I need to, uh, snatch up from other people's videos hopefully it's not too terrible hopefully you guys don't mind that much but it's just something that i wanted to incorporate but i don't have the time and energy to play undertale more than i already have even though i adore this game i really wanted to just get this done and over with uh but yeah if you want to fight this guy you're just gonna need to like i said walk around in the room a little bit until he shows up and you have to do it before the fight with Papyrus. If, it, if you go ahead and fight Papyrus, then he won't appear anymore, so keep that in mind. As for what's behind that door, however, uh, that is for another thing that I do not have the patience to do. So I will be showing it off at the end of the LP, but it is not something we can do right now. But it's gonna need to be footage pulled from somewhere else, because I have lost any and all sanity and patience with that sort of thing. It'll make more sense when we get to it, but... Whatever. You clap like a gorilla. Glide is becoming addicted to your something. I couldn't even see it because it's going way too singing fast. Uh, let's see. You just keep on dodging all these things like a pro. Yeah, I can take credit for it, right, guys? Because I'm, like, talking over it. That means it's my footage. No, it's not. Boo, you boo loudly. Yeah, it's like booing at me for stealing the footage and being horrible. And I won! Zero experience and 120 gold. All right, then. Now that's taken care of, on with the video! What were we doing again, exactly? Oh, yes! Annoying dog side quest! Um, here's something new. This might have been accessible during our first playthrough, but I just didn't notice it. I entered Papyrus's refrigerator while I was on my date with him, and I found a shrine dedicated to the dog inside his refrigerator. Dog shrine. Donate. Dognate. Dognot. 
You put 1G into the box. You feel like you're about to waste a lot of time. Uh, now he's asleep. One of 2G in box. Dog Nate. Clink, the box is filled with coins. Perhaps if you leave and return, the donations will be used for something. Hmm. Looks like the money was used to buy some fairy lights. It was kind of dark in here. Zero 4G in the box. Dog name. Okay, I see where they're going with this. Donate 1G. This better be stinking worth it. Perhaps if you leave and turn, something different will happen. How did I not notice this on my first playthrough? There's a... There's dumplings! Hey, Sylvia, it's you! They look slightly nibbled. Looks like the dog didn't like them very much. So far, the donation money has been totally wasted. Zero of 6G. This is gonna take a while. Five, six... Box is full. Hello! Jesus Christ. It's some kind of inflatable mascot. It's not clear how this is going to encourage anyone to donate. Now we have zero of 8G inside the box. Just keep on donating. Keep on dognating. If we say no, do we have to fight the dog or something like that? I'd rather not find out. Box filled with coins. Should we come back? Something will happen. Uh, there's a picture here. A framed photo of Papyrus. Looks like he's having fun making some kind of pasta. This better be stinking. Well, it actually, is all kind of already stinking worth it. We got one of 10G. At least it's not expensive, like the stinking Temi armor or whatever. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Leave and come back. There's. Did they. Was this here before? What changed? Looks like the money was used to increase the size of the shrine. Was it? Zero of 13G in the box. I didn't even notice it got bigger. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, the actual shrine. Yeah, I did notice it got bigger, so... I thought, like, the room itself got bigger. Keep on donating. 10, 11, 12, 13, okay. Go back in here. There's a boombox. The boombox is playing an upbeat song. It's having a psychological effect on your desire to donate. It's not clear what kind of effect that is. Change the track? Sure. Oh, the next track is just the same, but faster! Uh... And it keeps going faster. And faster! I'm having fun! I don't think it's actually getting any faster this time. Uh, 16G? Oh boy. How the fruit did I not notice this before? I don't know. Just keep on donating. Getting a bunch of stinking G wasted. Bunch of time and money wasted, just like they said. This better be stinking amazing in the end. Okay, leave. Come back. I like if virus follows us every time. There's a CD on the floor. Looks like the dog bought a CD for the boombox, but it's a it's a game CD, so it won't work. Genius. 19G. What's gonna happen first? I fill out the stinking area, or I run out of money? Only one way to find out. I don't even want to check to see how much money I have. I just want to keep doing it until I run out, or until I finish, whichever comes first. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Dog not. You feel a sense of relief. <laughs> Leave and come back. Another photo. A framed photo of Papyrus. It's a bit blurry, but it looks like he's angrily chasing the photographer. 22G. 
Oh my sinking god. Uh, also, I apologize if my voice is kind of shot right now. This is being recorded after the Undertale finale, which involved a lot of screaming, and then also after I started recording it for another LP. I'm like so scatterbrained with all of these LPs that I'm recording. Like, originally, Undertale was gonna be the last LP of year seven, now it's becoming the Halloween LP. And, like, I've recorded, out of the 10 LPs I want to record for year six or year seven or whatever, um, I have three of them already recorded, and then. Uh, one of them, then two other ones are partially recorded, which is interesting. We have a rope! Uh, the dog spent all of this money on a piece of rope. However, it's really not very much rope for the amount spent. It seems like the dog got ripped off. Huh. 25G. I feel like I'm gonna run out of money now. This is actually, like, big boy money. Seven, eight, nine. I wonder if we get in trouble for like trying to leave the house though. I hope we can actually finish the donations. Wait, not of money. I'm out of money. Well, I guess it's time to find out! You know it'd be really stinking crummy if you can't go back into Papyrus's house after you leave the area for the first time? Hopefully that is not the case. Good. Go in here. And make some more dog nations. Time to waste even more time! Uh, donated, 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 donated. Uh, question, is this actually worth it? Go back in. Uh, what's different this time? Zero three G in the box. Dog not. You feel a sense of relief. What changed exactly? I haven't been here in so long. I can't remember. We will explain that beats on having a psychological effect on the desire to donate. It's not clear what kind of effort. We just change the track. Change. Huh? The next track is just the same but faster. But what changed in here? Uh, the rope was here before. That was here before. We had the two pictures. What exactly changed? Uh, CD for the boombox, but it's a game CD. Huh. Well, apparently we donated for Sultan. So now we gotta donate 30G! In case you're wondering how much money you actually need to donate for this thing in the end, it's 350G all in the end. So, just gonna keep on donating all this stinking money, thank god for the speed through text button. You just press X and O at the same stinking time. You got X's and O's, hugs and kisses, cause it's a game about love and all that jazz, hooray. Uh, I've always heard this thing referred to as the annoying dog and now I see why. Perhaps if we leave in turn, something different will happen. Go back in. Now there's a thing here, I noticed that. It's a tap to dispense dog food. So this is the, uh, there's a tank full of dog food in the walls. Interesting. And now we want 35G. Dognate. Keep on dognating. I have nothing of importance to say because this is very boring and I don't really get it. It is funny right when you do it for the first time, but after you do it a whole bunch of other times, it's really annoying and the game was right when it said feel like you're gonna waste a bunch of stinking time of your stupid life. And, oh, it's a 35, I didn't time that very well, cause I'm very tired, it's 2 in the morning, and I just wanna finish this run so I can go ahead and finish the game when I wake up tomorrow morning, but well, that's probably not gonna happen, unless I sacrifice my sleep for it. Huh, blueprints? Literally, it's a white paper, but covered in little blue paw prints. Wait, blue paw prints, could it be a clue? No, it's totally useless. <laughs> A Blue's Clues reference. Okay, I've never had a Blue's Clues reference in a video game before as far as I'm aware, so I'm already enjoying this and not regretting it entirely. Continue the dog nations. Jesus stinking Christ, we're going up to 40G and we have to do it one at a stinking time. Oh, why do I do these things? This better be stinking worth it. Oh my god. And the fact, like, imagine if I did this, like, the first time around. Uh, I have a lot more sleep tonight, that's for sure. 
Uh, keep on donating. And, and the thing is, I haven't paid for Temi's college yet, so I don't know if that's required for like the end of the game or if it's gonna impact something, so I have to go out and grind more money after this so I can go pay for Tem's college. Ugh, box is full. And now... Uh, what changed? There's a second rope. It's another piece of rope. It's not even any bigger than the last one. What was the thing that had changed when I donated that one time? I don't know. I don't care either, so... 50G! Oh my stinking god. This better be the last stinking one. This is like a final boss right here. Just pressing it as fast as we can. This had better be worth it. What changed? Uh, there's this here. It's a framed letter from the Shrine Certificate Certification Committee. Apparently, the dog applied to have its shrine officially recognized. It was completely rejected. It doesn't seem to have realized it at all. Zero of 70 G? Are you kidding me? Ugh. How long does it take to get to 350? I suddenly regret not going to Kaleg. It doesn't make me feel better. <sighs> and now the shrine is red! Cool! The donation box is sealed. There was seemingly no point to all of this. Yeah. There's literally nothing. On the Steam version, that is! Yes, apparently, the trophies, the remaining trophies that I didn't get in the game, are all for the Dog Nations. It hasn't updated yet, it seems, but trust me, it is for the Dog Nation, as far as I'm aware. Go to our trophies, check out Undertale, and there we go, 100% completion in Undertale. The last one we got was for getting to the second save point in the core, which was basically just completing our first playthrough. The rest of them were all for Dog Nations. And that Platinum Trophy! It wasn't for completing the game or anything like that, not for getting like every single ending or every item or like showing off every single secret that this game has because there's like a million stinking things that you could do in this game, no. the trophy that makes fun of you for not having anything better to do. It wasn't for just playing the game over and over again until you found everything. It was just wasting your time with a stupid dog to get the maximum amount of donations donated. And you get a platinum trophy. Not for finishing the game, for completing the dog nations. So technically, I don't need to finish this game anymore. I 100% completed Undertale as far as I'm concerned. But, I guess we'll keep on going if the fans demand it, or if my desire demands it, and I do want to see this game through the, to the end, but yeah. 
As far as I'm aware, the Steam version of Undertale doesn't have achievements. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think the only way you could get some sort of gratification out of this is by getting it on PS4, so you could have trophies to make yourself feel better about yourself. But we are done here. And I'm 500G away from paying for Kaleg.